Okay, this is the wide margin cameo with the blue leather. And I have to say, this is probably the nicest bobble that I own. It's very nice. It's very good to the touch. It's iron calfskin leather. It's got the silver letters on the side. And you can still get this bobble. It's really not that expensive for how great of a bobble it is. It's got the three ribbons, the blue and the, the white by Church Bible Publishers. So if you just get on their website, Church Bible Publishers, they got all kinds of Bibles and they I'm pretty sure they sell it for the price which it costs to make it. And this is a wide margin Bible. It's, I've used it for, when I was teaching Sunday school a lot for about six months. And it was kind of my, I kind of wanted it to use it as, as my main Bible, but I just, I just couldn't. I had to go back to the common man's. It has really nice uh, pages in the front here, which I really like. Like marriages and all that, that type of thing. I like, I like how that's laid out. But it says item 120, I guess that stands for Red Letter Limited. So this is the, it's the what called Wide Margin Cameo, and it's, it's the blue one, but they have other colors, and it's also wide mar a wide margin Bible, like I said, and I really like it. From now on, for the rest of my life, I'm, I'm going to have a hard time using a Bible that doesn't have the wide margins in it. The wide margins in this are very good, but they're just it's just does it's just not enough space for me personally, because I was getting in situations where. I was needing more room and you can see a comparison here to the common man's how much more space that you actually have there but this is i would say this is a better made bible than the common man's reference bibles that i do have the leather even after i think i've had this for close to a year and it still smells like it's a brand new and the pages are just the paper in this is perfect I'd say this Bible would last you a lifetime. Especially the average Christian who doesn't use the Bible much, it would just last them for the rest of their life if you got it for them as a gift. And I mean, you can still, you can still fit a great amount of notes in this. You, you see, so you got the you got the wide margin on the side so you can write something next to the verse and then you can put like an outline at the top or something like that and then you still got room down here. It's just I highly recommend wide margin Bibles. If you want to get serious about the Bible, get serious about studying the Bible, then right here is a very cheap, well I say cheap, but cheap for what it is. I think it was like $65. You may think that's expensive. A lot of people say, well, you spend too much money on Bibles. But I mean, they're going out and buying Blu-ray DVDs and stuff for, what are they, like 30 bucks or something. When you can get this Bible that's going to last a lifetime <clears throat> for $65. And it's very, very well made. Much better than the ones like that you see at like Lifeway, Christian bookstores and all that stuff way better made <clears throat> and this is also a red letter it's got the red letter in it it's really nice the the letters in this just this would be a perfect bible to just read if you're gonna get a bible to just read out of it's got perfect letters in it very bold very clear Like, I want to use this Bible as my main Bible. That's how much I like it. It's just if the, the if the margins were a little bit bigger and it had all the references from my Common Man Reference Bible, this would be the Bible I'd want to use. Plus, I'd, I love the cut. The, I love the blue. A lot of people just like black and all that, and that's fine, but I like blue. It's got a lot of pages for notes in the back. It's got the maps. It's got a lot of maps. I 
I'd say that the, this Bible is pretty much perfectly made. I can't really find anything wrong with the Bible other than it's just not got enough space for me. But I'm pretty picky about how much space that's in there. See, like, when I was doing a Sunday school lesson on this, I wanted more space here. I couldn't fit everything I wanted to, so I had to get an extra paper to write it down on. Whereas in the common man's, I pretty much could fit everything I wanted to on there. But still, I fit a, a very large amount on here. And I'm pretty sure in the back, it also has um, some nice little pa extra pages for notes. I like how it says that D in there. Just very nicely done. And then, like I said, yeah, you got pages for notes here in the back, several little pages. And then you got the Bible maps here. Yeah, this is just a, it's a very nice, and it's a handy size. A lot of people don't like a, don't like a big Bible. But this thing, it's nice, it's, it's not that big. Compared to the the common man's, if you have one of those, it's much much smaller. But yeah, this is the blue iron calfskin wide margin cameo from Church Bible Publishers, who I think has got the best Bibles right now.